Have you purchased stocks this year? Did you know 5 crucial things to know before buying a stock? Watch and listen carefully if not. To begin with, you must thoroughly research the companies to find out what they do, where they do it, and how. Second, the company's price to earnings ratio, which contrasts share price with earnings per share, is the second thing you should check out. Third, consider a company's beta about the rest of the market to determine how risky a stock is. Fourth, if you want to put your money in a secure place, invest in stocks that have a high yield. Finally, try to identify some of the most precise cues, like changes in the stock's price, despite how challenging it is to interpret charts. In light of this and the widespread media coverage of successful stock prices, I believe it is crucial to research and educate ourselves about cutting-edge technologies like electric vehicles. Hey there, and welcome back to Investing Wise Academy. This is Fred, and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more upcoming videos like this. Car manufacturers are engaged in fierce competition to perfect the solid-state battery, long considered the holy grail of electric vehicles. In the face of growing gas prices and climate change, but is it worth it? Toyota gave the world a sneak preview of its future in September. It showed a contemporary four-door automobile moving along a test track in an 11-second YouTube video. The most significant improvement was the phrase, powered by all solid-state battery, which was painted across the right side of the vehicle. Auto industry juggernauts like Toyota, Ford, and Volkswagen have been competing to develop a new generation of batteries to address the drawbacks of current electric vehicle batteries. According to battery specialists, Many businesses support solid-state batteries because they are faster at charging, last longer, and are less likely to catch fire than lithium-ion batteries. Also, solid-state batteries do not include liquid electrolytes. As a result, automakers had invested millions in developing the technology by the decade's second half. The competition occurs at a pivotal moment. The demand for electric vehicles has increased due to rising gas prices and more significant attempts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions due to climate change. Since adults and children frequently mine many minerals required in modern electric vehicle batteries in hazardous situations with little protection, this has caused shortages of several minerals. But scientists and automakers agree that getting new batteries on the market will be very difficult. The Maryland Energy Innovation Institute director Eric D. Watsman commented it's the future technology. The question is, when will that future be here? Lithium-ion batteries have dominated the market for the past three decades. This is because they have a short recharge time and can store much power in a compact space. Because of their advantages, they are now widely used in pacemakers, operating room equipment, electronic tablets, telephones, and many other critical items. While lithium-ion batteries have limited capacity, drivers must ride on just one charge. Scientists have remarked that they may be at the limit of how much electricity they can store. They can also provide a fire risk because they are loaded with flammable liquid electrolytes, which prompted General Motors to recall the Chevy Bolt electric vehicle last summer. Nickel and cobalt are used extensively in these batteries but they are in short supply and cost more. They are also crucial components. Also, cobalt mining primarily done by adults and children in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, who frequently inhale hazardous chemicals and develop fatal lung ailments, has generated a human rights catastrophe in the nation. 
There is no doubt, according to Lei Cheng, a chemist and material science specialist at Argonne National Laboratory, that solid-state batteries will eventually replace lithium-ion batteries. She claimed that the new batteries, which would use a solid layer of graphite instead of flammable liquid electrolytes, may be safer, less reliant on nickel and cobalt, and hold more power for less money, making them desirable to automakers. She explained that if you purchase a great Tesla car, the type of battery you install will largely determine the price. Major automakers are collaborating with solid-state battery manufacturers or performing their internal research and development on the technology since they know the current battery technology's limitations and costs. But before that, if you want to know more, finish this video and support this channel by trying our super thanks, wherein your comments will be highlighted or join our membership program. Volkswagen plans to put the batteries into production by the middle of this decade by investing $300 million in QuantumScape. A solid-state battery firm supported by Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates, Solid Power, a solid-state battery startup in Colorado, received $130 million in funding from Ford and BMW to commercialize the technology by 2027. In addition, Toyota declared in January that by 2025, hybrid vehicles would have solid-state batteries. Solid Power's CEO Doug Campbell finds the emphasis on solid-state technology beneficial. Solid Power went public in December and raised more than $540 million, as it works to achieve its objective of putting commercially effective solid-state batteries in automobiles by 2027. It is currently hiring like mad, according to Campbell. In addition, Campbell said he is not surprised that automakers are embracing the technology. Finding cheaper, more durable, and less flammable batteries is one of the most important advancements for car manufacturers going forward. Batteries make up 40% of the cost of an electric vehicle and are an essential safety component. He said, solid state is kind of that holy grail. But there are several concerns with the technique. Toyota stated that solid-state batteries are not currently planned to be utilized in entirely electric vehicles. According to Gil Pratt, the company's chief scientist, who made this statement in January, the batteries are too expensive to power a pure battery-operated car. He added that solid-state batteries' total life expectancy is impacted by repeated charging. As he said to the Autoline Network, we want to start by putting them in hybrid vehicles where we believe that they're both the same suited in terms of lifetime. But also, that will exercise them sufficiently so that we can roll them out in the future in completely electric vehicles. Waxman of the Maryland Energy Innovation Institute highlighted that it would be challenging to manufacture these batteries. He referred to the U.S. defense and aerospace industries and said it is likely that solid-state batteries will initially appear in other sectors where fewer product quantities are required. According to Waxman, the problem is that most lithium-ion batteries are produced in China, where the production process has been optimized and costs have decreased. However, transitioning the world's production to solid-state batteries necessitates a unique manufacturing method that would be more challenging to replicate at the same scale as lithium-ion batteries, which is expected to increase costs in the short term. Within the next two years, commercial items will be available, according to battery producers, and whether they can scale will be the question. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But again, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. This is Fred. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.